In this part, we'll be adjusting and improving on the general form of the head before adding the ear. Working in local view, so we're only viewing the head mesh for now. Our focus involves working over the entire surface of the model as a whole gradually defining the inner bone structure underneath the skin. We'll also be working on fleshing out some areas as well as sharpening out key features. Shaping is a very gradual process and involves a lot of tweaking, patience, and much will rely on our artistic observation. Working with the model upside down provides a different perspective. So far we've been basically following the front and side view reference images to create our base mesh and general form. We'll now open up our three quarter images which will provide us with more information. Set three quarter front to front view. Reduce the opacity of our front image to zero, hiding it for now. And set the three-quarter back to back view. We'll toggle out of ortho view and into perspective view by pressing numpad 5. While orthographic provides a flattened view with no depth, perspective provides depth for a more accurate view to work in. Since we're working in extreme close-up, we'll switch the camera lens from its default 35 to between 90 and 110. Creating a mesh with circular edge loops and using NumPad Plus to increase selection makes it very easy to work with our model. Continue to make adjustments in perspective view following our three-quarter image.
using both three-quarter and side view. The workflow involves a lot of object mode undo and redo to compare the edits and changes. Paying particular attention to the contour and negative space provided in three-quarter view. Continuing to work from one area to another. Adding more shape definition to the eyelids. Adding more volume to the mouth area. Adjusting the underlying topology to create the right amount of specular highlight or shadow.
observing the subtle details and shape variation. Moving on to adjusting the chin and jawline area. Switching our reference image to three-quarter back view. Reducing the opacity of our three-quarter images to zero to hide them for now. Unhiding the front view, so we're back to working with both front and side views. Toggling out of local view.
Select the eyeball or cornea and snap cursor to selected. Press Shift A to add an empty. With both the eyeball and cornea selected, shift select the empty and press Ctrl P. Parenting them to an empty enables us to continue adjusting both eyeball and cornea more easily. Hiding the empty so it's out of the way. Line the iris to rest on the bottom eyelid while the top part is covered by the upper eyelid.